You've noticed a question similar like these and you've realized, hang on, there are two negatives sitting side by side. What do I do? Let's see how it's done. It's actually very simple. We have 8 minus negative 3. The rule is when we have two negatives sitting side by side, they join forces and they become a plus. So 8 minus negative 3, they become a plus. 8 plus 3, our answer is 11. It's that simple. Negative 7 minus negative 3. Again, we have two negatives side by side, right next to each other. They join forces and become a plus. Negative 7 plus 3. We can use the number line. We start at negative 7 and we plus 3. Plus meaning we go to the right. 1, 2, 3. Our answer is simply negative 4. 6 minus negative 4. Come on, you can do this one. What do we do? Two negatives, side by side. What do they become? A plus. 6 plus 4. Our answer is 10. Now notice how I always like to put the sign Y. It helps me with my working out and it always shows my teachers I know what I'm doing. Two negatives, 6 plus 4 equals 10. I know straight away when two negatives are together, they become a plus. Here we have negative 5 minus negative 6. Again, two negatives side by side become a plus. Minus 5 plus 6. We start at negative 5 and we add 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Our answer is positive 1. As you can see, simple, very straightforward. No need to cry, no need to make it hard. It is very easy. If we know the rules, it becomes simple and we get the answer. In mathematics, there are rules for everything. If you follow the rules, you'll never go wrong.